When I was younger, I was outside jumping on a trampoline with one of my friends and it was in the beginnings of a storm and it was really cloudy and super windy and every single time I jumped up super high and spread my arms out really wide, a huge gust of wind would come by. And it happened every single time without fail, every single time I did that. And it was like the higher I jumped and the wider I spread my arms, the heavier the wind would be. And that was just one of the first instances that I thought I could do anything in the world. So when I was a kid, um, in an effort to help me learn English, uh, my parents would rent a bunch of movies from the local library and um, we'd watch with the subtitles on. And I was always like, man, like these movies are really cool, but like I never really saw like any other, you know, Asian characters. One day, my parents rented uh, the second Indiana Jones movie and I remember seeing the little Asian kid actor who played Shorty and like I loved the movie but I was just so fixated on his character the whole time and I was like man he's like so funny and energetic and quirky and then I remember like man like I want to do that someday like I hope that can be me someday so that's really when I first got really fixated on like you know maybe doing acting with my life. Growing up, every time, you know, I would always go to the beach or the pool and I would always find myself, you know, a couple minutes or moments to myself. I would always uh, put my hands on the top of the surface level of the water and start moving them around. And all of a sudden I would get these circular motions of waves coming around me and I thought I had powers and that I was, felt like I was king of the ocean. So yeah, that's my story. My grandmother took me to see The Princess Diaries um, in the movie theaters, I think the day it came out, and I just remember walking out of that movie theater completely convinced that I was the Princess of Genovia, and so when I got home, I told my mom that I had to practice for when I would become a princess, so being the wonderful person that she is, she found her prom dress, and it had a huge skirt, and um, she put lip gloss on me and did my hair. And so we had a little ball in my dining room, and there was music and dancing, and I remember feeling so special and right, being all dolled up in a big poofy dress and girly makeup, and I felt so special and like I could do anything.